Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you a complete step-by-step -step roadmap of how to become a cloud engineer. My name is Jasmine, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or cloud pro, fast. Before jumping directly to the roadmap of becoming a cloud engineer, it is necessary to understand the role of a cloud engineer. A cloud engineer is an IT professional who specializes in designing, building, and maintaining cloud-based systems and infrastructure. Cloud engineers solve the computing problems of an entity or consumers, thus ensuring the organization's cloud infrastructure is scalable, reliable, and secure. The services provided are Software as a Service (SaaS), Platform as a Service pass and infrastructure as a service yes now moving to the roadmap to become a cloud engineer to become an expert cloud engineer different sets of skills required can be attained most likely if you follow the following next steps number one understand the cloud computing fundamentals understand core concepts like infrastructure as a service platform as a service and software as a service also studying the benefits and drawbacks of these cloud services look for major cloud providers familiarize yourself with the big three amazon web services AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Platform, GCP. Learn about their core offerings and how they differ. Number two, sharpen your IT skills. The first thing you need to learn about is networking as solid networking knowledge is essential for building secure and efficient cloud infrastructure. This includes IP addressing and subnetting, network protocols like TCP, HTTP, and UDP. Also, learn about DNS and how it is used to resolve domain names to IP addresses for accessing the internet. More importantly, don't forget network security and the use of tools like ping, traceroute, and network analyzers. The second thing that falls under IT skills is knowledge about operating systems. A strong grasp of operating systems, particularly Linux, is a plus as it is widely used in cloud environments. The third IT skill that you need to have is sound knowledge of virtualization and its types, which include hardware virtualization, desktop virtualization, and application virtualization. The working of each type should be studied in detail. To create and maintain secure services and infrastructure, it is crucial to have a strict firewall, so for cloud engineers, it is mandatory to know about various security protocols and best practices for securing the cloud resources. Further, a cloud engineer most of the time needs to write a YAML file, which could be because of various purposes that include configuration management, infrastructure as code, cloud platform configurations, deployment manifests, orchestration and workflows, and CI-CD pipelines. So in short, one must know how to write YAML files. Also, to become an expert in cloud computing, you need to know what DevOps is how it works, and what its role is in cloud computing. A cloud engineer must be familiar with continuous integration and continuous delivery, for which there are various tools are used like Jenkins, CircleCI, and Travis CI. DevOps is also used for monitoring the performance and logging the usage of infrastructure and applications. This helps in identifying and troubleshooting the issues. A cloud engineer in this regard must be able to use tools like Splunk, New Relic, Datadog, or cloud native solutions. Number three, upscaling your programming skills. To become a cloud engineer, familiarity with certain programming languages and tools is essential. Here are some of the key ones. The first is Python. Python is highly popular due to its readability and extensive libraries, making it ideal for cloud development. It's supported by major cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, and GCP and is used for serverless applications, automation, and infrastructure as code. The second is Golang. It is developed by Google. Go is valued for its performance and efficiency in cloud services. It supports features like concurrency and package management, which are beneficial for cloud applications. The third is JavaScript Node.js. JavaScript with Node.js is commonly used for building scalable network applications. It's versatile and widely supported across cloud platforms. Ruby, known for its simplicity and productivity, 
Ruby is used in cloud environments, especially due to its vast collection of libraries and frameworks. Cloud engineers also need to be proficient with cloud services and tools such as AWS, Azure, and GCP. Knowledge of containerization tools like Docker and orchestration systems like Kubernetes is also important. Additionally, understanding infrastructure as code tools like Terraform can be highly beneficial. A very recent trend in cloud computing is serverless cloud space. It uses a specific concept called Function as a Service. Function as a Service is a cloud computing model that allows developers to execute code in response to events without the need to manage the underlying infrastructure typically required for building and launching applications. Number 4. Master a Cloud Platform there are three major cloud platforms, AWS, Azure, GCP, and each has its strengths and learning resources. The first one is Amazon Web Services. AWS is the market leader and offers a vast array of services, making it a go-to choice for many businesses. It's known for its robust offerings in computing power, storage options, and networking capabilities. AWS is often praised for its scalability, reliability, and comprehensive suite of services. The second one is Microsoft Azure. Azure is a close second to AWS and is favored for its seamless integration with other Microsoft services and software. It provides a wide range of cloud services, including solutions for AI, machine learning, and analytics. Azure is particularly popular among enterprises that are already using Microsoft software. And the third one is the Google Cloud Platform. GCP is known for its strong offerings in data analytics, machine learning, and open source technologies. It's a strong choice for organizations looking to leverage Google's expertise in data management and analysis. As for which one is best for getting started with becoming a cloud engineer, it largely depends on your specific interests and the industry you wish to enter. However, AWS is often recommended for beginners due to its dominant market share and extensive documentation and community support. It provides a broad range of services and a depth of resources that can be beneficial for learning. It's also worth noting that multi-cloud and hybrid cloud environments are becoming more common, so familiarity with more than one platform could be advantageous in your career. Number five, get cloud certifications. The following industry certifications can help you stand apart from your competition, increase your earning potential, and open opportunities for career advancement. Here's a complete list of all the certifications you can pursue within the AWS Solutions Architect certification path. This path is designed to validate your expertise in designing and deploying scalable, highly available, and fault-tolerant systems on AWS. Each certification helps you build and enhance your skills progressively, from foundational knowledge to advanced proficiency. AWS Certified Solutions Architect, Associate. This certification from Amazon Web Services, AWS, demonstrates your ability to design and deploy scalable systems on AWS. It's a foundational certification for cloud professionals starting with AWS, Microsoft Certified Azure Solutions Architect Expert. For those focusing on Microsoft's cloud platform, this certification shows expertise in designing solutions that run on Azure, including aspects like compute, network, storage, and security. Google Certified Professional Cloud Architect. This certification validates your skills in designing, developing, and managing dynamic solutions using Google Cloud Technologies. It's ideal for those who want to work with Google's cloud services. CompTIA Cloud Plus this vendor-neutral certification covers a broad range of cloud computing topics, including virtualization, infrastructure, security, and troubleshooting. It's suitable for beginners and provides a solid foundation in cloud technologies. IBM Certified Solution Architect, Cloud Pack for Data. If you're interested in data and AI services on the cloud, this IBM certification can be a great choice. It focuses on implementing data and AI applications using IBM's Cloud Pack for Data. Certified Cloud Security Professional, offered by the International Information System Security Certification Consortium, this certification is for cloud engineers who want to showcase their knowledge in cloud security, compliance, and risk management. Remember, the best certifications depend on your career goals and target cloud platform. It's wise to start with a foundational certification like CompTIA Cloud Plus and then progress to vendor-specific ones based on your chosen platform. 
Focus on building strong technical skills alongside certifications to truly stand out in the job market. Number six, gain hands-on experience. Most of cloud providers offer free tiers accounts with limited resources for experimentation and project building, but they can be used to get along with cloud computing, helping to understand the basics. Next, create personal project, like designing and building your own cloud-based applications to showcase your skills and knowledge. For example, use your coding skills to create a web app and then deploy it by using the cloud services. You can participate in open source projects, which is a fantastic way to gain real world experience and build your portfolio. Number seven, join communities. The best platform for finding cloud experts is Twitter. Here you can learn different new emerging trends and can also share your progress in becoming a cloud engineer. This will give you insights about job opportunities as well. Number eight, apply for jobs. The next step is to start applying for jobs on LinkedIn, Indeed, or Glassdoor. It doesn't matter if your first job is part-time, full-time, or freelance-based. The goal is to get hands on the real-time project, which will improve your skills and learning. Number nine, get specialized. After working as a cloud engineer for four to five years, get a specialization, as at that, you can easily pick a specific field of cloud engineering in which you want to progress your career. It is recommended to pick up one route and stick to it. Number 10, keep the learning process active. In the field of cloud computing, new service tools are being released, so it is mandatory to keep yourself updated for a smooth progression of your career. This will also help you get wind of new certifications in the field of cloud computing, which can make you stand out among other potential candidates. So if you are really serious about starting your career as a cloud engineer, then try this 12-week free AWS Restart Bootcamp by Amazon. This camp is specifically for beginners and the unemployed as it connects people with employers, thus giving a better oversight on market demand. If you found this roadmap helpful, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more career guides. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.